Hey, this is your girl, Miss Tony. I want to welcome you and welcome my fabulous guest, Mel Holder, here to talk about his documentary, Nations of Africa Tour. You know what part of the documentary that touched me the most was when you guys went to the um, orphanage. Oh See, your face goodness. alone, because <laughs> oh I know you had goodness. an experience yeah, there, that too. Was, you that had was to. life-changing because I had the opportunity to play before 5,000 children, children. Were orphans. They didn't know me from Adam. I, you know, they were in their world. I'm from another world yeah. many miles away. I was able to connect with them. I was able to bring them joy. It's and that music. Yes, it's music. that music. music. And, and this is the thing I took away from that. I knew that I was able to bless them and give them a hope and do something that gave them at least a feeling for that day. But at the end of the day, I realized I was the one that was really blessed. Hey. Because I realized what God has done in my life and how he's allowed me to go and be a blessing. And that was a blessing that I took away. So I think at the end of the day, I got the blessing. How did the kids respond to you? Did any of them come up to you, want to play the, uh, your sax or, you know, oh, like what, what kind of? Absolutely, they were like, <laughs> absolutely. I had to push them away, but I knew it was all <laughs> in fun. And, right. and, and again, I wanted to be very cognizant that that could be the next Michael Jackson. That could be the next yeah. great minister, the next great singer the next great teacher, the next great preacher. Right. Give them an opportunity. Mm -hmm. And you know, we, we do that mm -hmm. in a way that it's not disruptive. You want to be able to open up doors that they Absolutely. can dream, that they can see a different aspect of the mm -hmm. world and know that they might be in here for this season, but this season doesn't determine their future. Are. Right, right. What is the age ranges in the orphanage? Oh, they have them as young as, I believe at two, what? all the way up to high school. Oh wow! Yeah, so it's a very big range, yeah. and and even and some of the things that pulled at my heartstrings was we were able to go and see their living condition, which was yeah. good. Yeah. I have to give a shout out to Pastor Alex Metalla, who's the founder, and he's doing this without being funded by the government. Mm -hmm. This by the donations and by people that contribute, mm -hmm. and he's doing this to accommodate over. Orphans. So if they don't have everything as pristine as I may think it should be, that right. might be the reason why I should help them and contribute. Give me the names of the artists that went with you as well. Because you mentioned Landlord. All right. Landlord, mm -hmm. his, his Orlando Landlord Miller. He's from the Bahamas. Mm -hmm. Then there was Jumo Grant. He's from Canada and Trinidad and Tobago. Mm -hmm. And then we had a local artist that was from Kenya and his name was Dangari. Okay, yes, Dangari. I think it was Dangari that I heard, I'm trying to remember what he had spoken about, but he said it changed his life. My life has definitely changed as a result of the Nations of Africa tour. I could have never imagined these great men taking time out of their busy Western Chile to visit Uganda and Kenya. I know the seeds have been planted and the increase has already begun. Each one of you had a different experience. Um... Yes, absolutely. And I believe that this is just the genesis. We are already looking at Nations of Africa tour number two. So, we're, we're, we're looking at the nations that we're going to go back to. Maybe we'll go back to Uganda and Kenya, but we're also looking at going to Nigeria, Gambia, and Ghana. So there's mm -hmm. other countries we're, we're going to get to. And I believe that this is just an extension of who God is through us mm -hmm. to show that love and share our culture and our belief and our, the love of God in us with other cultures. Yeah, You know, the documentary shows a lot of positive things going on, what you guys brought. Africa has been going through some turmoil. Did you experience any of that while you were there? Yes, we did. We saw it, but we, for the most part, we were sheltered. We were a part of seeing what's going on there politically. Mm -hmm. And I understand why many Africans at large want to come to the United States because they see this as a great place for opportunity. Mm -hmm. And that's one thing I don't want to take for granted now, understanding that things that we take for granted here in the United States, many places would give so much to have that opportunity. Right. Just the opportunity, not right. the thing itself, just the opportunity to give. Right. Look, we have so much more to talk about. <laughs> you know, and we'll do a post-documentary wrap-up yes. and we can 
get into some of the other things. Absolutely. But Tony, I am so glad to be with you. I'm glad. I'm glad that here. I'm glad that we're here together. From our first interview, you know, it was all about the music. I knew you, Mel Holder, as a saxophonist, but to see this other part of you as a minister, that was an eye open. I'm like, oh, this is another part of Mel I didn't know. <laughs> so you. it was very nice meeting you. Very Thank nice you. seeing you. And we'll do it again. Yes, we will. We will. Well, guys, tune in, and you know, we're gonna keep following Mel Holder because there is gonna be a part two. All right, so we look forward to seeing that as well.